vegetation they have all of these pillars and they call it the kimono forest so they have all kinds of fabric patterns on them which are very pretty well it looks really great at night look at that This is a bit of an unusual kimono pattern. Look at this tiny train, it's only one carriage. So there's a little foot spa at the station that I'm gonna try. So I just bought a ticket at the station office, which was 200 yen, and they also give you a small little towel as well. So let's go check it out. So just a quick tip for the ladies. I usually like to wear these kinds of stockings, like when it's cold and I like to wear something underneath my pants. Because this way, if there is a foot bath around, which sometimes there can be, you can easily just flick them up like this and you don't have to worry about getting changed or anything. So, yay, foot bath! It's really hot. <laughs> Oh, it's really hot. <laughs> it's so hot I have to lift my feet out for a second. It's absolutely scorching. Okay, let's try again. Okay. Look how red my feet are. I don't know if you can tell, but there's there's a very distinct line here between my very white legs and my red feet. Even all my veins are popping out. So how was the dress? It was really fun. I mean, I love onsens, foot spas, etc. Anyway, so I knew it was going to be great. Yeah. Um, but what I love is just talking to the local people people in there or visitors. Um, so yeah, they were having a bit of a chat with me and commenting on how red my feet were. We're just like, you're so white, but yeah, you're so red. <laughs> um, yeah, I really was. It was really hot though. Even for me, it was super hot. It's like 42 degrees, you'd say? I don't, it was like the hottest of the onsen baths we would have been in. Oh shit, that's pretty hot. And I went like straight you gotta in. Believe that. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> um, and I went straight into the the uh, I suppose the the hot end. It wasn't designated as being any hotter than the rest of the Maybe bath. Maybe that's where it's coming out. But yeah, it actually it was, and that's what the lady said. They were like, oh, actually, you're right over the the vent thing. So perhaps that's why it's so hot and that's why you're so red. Or maybe it's just because you're so white. So <laughs> bit, of, the, bit from A, bit from B. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but that was like super fun. But yeah, so that is Hiroshiyama. We think we're gonna head off now. Yep. But basically, um, if you if you have the chance to come here, it's definitely worth the short trip out. It's a really quaint little Japanese town. It is quite touristy. I mean a lot of tourists do come here. Um, but if you're looking for any souvenirs or just to eat some yummy stuff, they have lots of sweets and stuff like that. Um, it's definitely a nice place to spend like half a day yeah, or so certainly. wandering around. So definitely come check it out when you visit Kyoto. And my arm's getting really tired from holding this camera, so probably going to end this vlog here. Um, we hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you in the next video. Bye!
One of the biggest hits of the festival are the penis and vagina lollipops. It's only 10.30 and the queue is huge. Look at this. It's all the way down there, spirals around, up into the shrine.